Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today we're going to look at DDWRT's QoS settings, which we use every once in a while in the field for bandwidth simulation. Enjoy! DDWRT. I've talked about this in an earlier presentation. The link's here on the page. And what do we do? We just take one of these old little Linksys routers or other supported routers. They're all on the DDWRT website. Replace the firmware with DDWRT and you get a couple extra features. One of the features we're going to look at today is QoS. And the QoS feature is kind of neat because we get a chance to change the speed of the ports. So if you want to simulate a 512K circuit, a 1 meg circuit, a 256K circuit, um, you can buy fancy simulators for that, but uh, why not just use a simple little router you've got laying around? Enjoy! Let's look at our lab layout. We've got a pretty simple layout here. We've got a Linksys router, 54G and it has uh, DDWRT on it. We've got our iPerf client on one side, we've got an iPerf server on the other side, and basically we're going to just run a test through the network, and well, through the Linksys router, and we're going to see what kind of bandwidth we get as our initial baseline, and then we're going to tweak the QoS setting and see if it actually works. Okay, so here we are in DDWRT, we're in the main control panel, and I'm going to click on NAT QoS, and then I'm going to click on that sub tab labeled QoS and I just want to verify it is indeed disabled. So now I can go to my command prompt. I can run my iperf command. Off we go. And we're going to use all the default settings. 10 second is the default time. Upload is the default direction. It's using TCP and port 5001. So here we are. 17.7 megabits per second. So we'll go back to DDWRT. We will enable LAN and YLAN or Wi-Fi. They're all going to be affected by the 500K. And that's it. So I'm going to go to the bottom, hit save. I know you can't see any of this. Uh, it's all the way at the bottom. And then I'm going to press apply settings. So now we've saved it and we've applied it. Now I find you've either got to wait a minute or you've got to reboot the router for these changes to take effect. If I would have made a a quick test right now. Here, we'll even do it. So we'll run a quick test using, again, default TCP port 5001. Default direction is upload. and The default duration is 10 seconds. And let's see what the results are. 17.1 megabits per second. Again, we haven't waited long enough. So you've got to wait at least a minute or you've got to reboot the router. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just reboot the router and I'm just going to pause the video and I'll be back in just a sec. All right, so I waited about, I don't know, a minute or two. I'm hoping that's enough time for the change to take effect. I'm going to pull up my last command, press enter, and here we go, TCP port 5001. Again, same direction upload, same duration 10 seconds. Fingers crossed, let's see what we got. Hey, 486K, that's a lot better. So basically, it worked. Woohoo! There you have it, folks. We used uh, DDWRT's QoS setting to simulate various bandwidth settings, in this case, just 500K up and down. You might find that helpful. I find it helpful to show people what the application really does at various speeds. And that's it. Thanks for now.